also have issues in our own community that we must also contend with. Uh, we have those among us who are sociopaths and psychopaths in our community, and uh, they're causing harm to our community, uh, to our women, to our men, to our children, um, to the elderly. Uh, we have those who want to enslave other Black people in our community. Um, we have those who want to enslave Black women in our community. Uh, you know, we have those who want to beat up on Black women and justify the abuse. Uh -huh. Then we have the pro-Black conscious people doing things that are detriment to the true liberation of Black people in America. Okay, uh, back in early May, I was I was bothered by some things that had taken place in the pro-Black conscious community. Then I put the pro-Black conscious community on trial. Um, someone recently. Uh, claimed credit for my book, for writing my book, again. Uh, he claimed credit again for writing my book. I, you know, uh, this person recently wrote a comment under someone's video saying that he helped inspire me to write my book when I was a Christian and that I did not give him any credit. Uh, he also wrote under that same thread, um, Noble has a history of using people for her personal gain. This man has been slandering me and claiming credit for writing my book ever since it was released in June 2020. He also said that I plagiarized material from him, Brother Bakari, Alquan, to write my quick scheme book. Okay, that's how he put it. Now, I just, I just want to know, what would make a person just keep on going over and 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 over? You see how annoying this is? Over and over and over and over again, claiming credit for a work that he knew he never inspired me to write, neither has any authentic, uh, you know, source to prove that he has written. Y'all understand where I'm going with this? See, I can prove the authenticity of my my work. God is on trial. I can prove the authenticity. Furthermore, he doesn't produce any blogs, any articles. Um, he doesn't produce anything in order to like claim credit for writing anything because I don't think he can really write y'all. I really got to be honest when I say this. I'm, I'm talking I'm talking about writing an essay. I'm talking about writing books. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think he has the capability of writing a 154 page book, let alone a five to 10 page essay. Okay. And for him to keep coming at me like this, claiming credit for writing my book, knowing full, fully well that he never wrote my book neither can he produce any authentic source uh to 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 uh prove that he has any hand in this book god is on trial y'all so i i just i just had to get that out because i really i i'm really appalled i'm really uh really taken aback by these recent uh, allegations that he decided he wanted to put online because of a situation that that I that I got going on with somebody else, and and that that was that was really messed up. That that really was messed up that he would even like go there to try and team up with this other person and claim credit once again for for writing my book now. In 2020, he said that he that he um, he wrote my book. He said that I plagiarized him, Brother Bakari, Alquan, to write my book. Now this year, he's saying that I helped inspire him to write my book. He's changed the narrative. He changed the narrative from last year, saying that I plagiarized from him, Brother Bakari, Alquan, to write my book. To now, he inspired me to write my book when I was a Christian. 
You wasn't even around when I was a Christian. I, you wasn't even a thought in my head when I was a Christian in 2017, uh, Guy Nollywood. So why are you claiming credit for writing my book when I was a Christian? I didn't even know you in 2017 when I first started working on my book, which was under another title, by the way. That's right. When I first started writing this book, it was under another title. It was called it was called the African Holocaust in the New World. OK. My mama died 2017. I stopped writing my book. I started back writing my book, working on my book in 2019. I didn't borrow any information from you. I didn't borrow any information from Brother Bakari. I didn't borrow any information from Alquan to write anything. Sister No. This is my this is my testament. Sister No. Say what? Say, yes. Sister yeah. No. I, don't, uh -huh. I don't mean I don't mean to cut you off, but yeah. What you're talking about, it really doesn't fit into, you know, what we're trying to do here. Okay, black unity healing. Okay, yeah. well, you know, if um, you want me to talk about black unity healing, I, I was just, you know, giving a backstory. That's all yeah. I was doing, giving a backstory. You know, you mentioned something about brother, I'm sorry, you mentioned something about Omega and how this uh, video came into fruition because of what yeah. happened between you and Omega. And I was just explaining, you know, some things about my background, you know, situation regarding some things that happened also with me and brother, you know, and brother. Okay, that I'm talking about, and and he one of them is on is it, the is panel tonight, and I just wanted to get his opinion yeah. later on whenever he talks. Okay. But um, okay. I just I just wanted to say that I, I I'm not gonna fake the funk with you. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna fake the funk mm -hmm. on here and then pretend like, you know, I'm down with you know um, I'm down with the pro black conscious community because I'm not. I, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I can't fake the funk. I can't. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. There's a problem. And therefore, I, I, you know, I have to address it. And I'm glad that we're doing this live stream tonight. OK, mm -hmm. I'm glad that we're that we're here tonight talking about this because there is a problem. It's definitely a problem uh, going on here. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to pass the mic. OK, OK.